Hi everyone, Natalie Willis here from the Baby Sleep Trainer. Do you need a sleep sack when you sleep train your baby? Is it gonna make a difference? I tell my clients that a sleeveless, just like this, a sleeveless, non-weighted sleep sack is optional, fine, anytime you wanna use it, isn't gonna make a whole lot of difference in terms of your child's sleep and their sleep training. I say that it's optional because it isn't going to make it easier for them to sleep. Uh, they're totally safe, so if you wanna use one because you feel like that room that they sleep in is a little drafty or it makes you feel better that they're wearing something that's covering them, sure, great, go ahead and use it. But if they don't have it on, it's not like it's gonna be harder for them to sleep. I would say you could use it sometimes and not other times. You could use it for nighttime sleep and not for naps. You could use it for naps and nighttime. You could use it only for naps. You could use it only at grandma's house. You could switch the sleep sacks that you use. I, I basically want people to divorce the idea of sleep sacks improving their child's sleep and thinking of them more as like, hey, is this something that's necessary for my child to wear to be comfortable? Sleep sacks actually provide a bunch of benefits to children. Um, sometimes it helps little legs and feet from going through the crib slats as easily. Sometimes it encourages babies to settle and just stay laying down, it's kind of cumbersome. They don't want to like get up and try to walk around in it. And of course, again, if it's cool at all in the room, maybe it's nice to have it on them. But don't feel too strongly that you have to have one for sleep or that it's required by any means, totally optional. If it feels right to you go ahead and use it but again make sure always that it's sleepless <laughs> make sure that it's sleeveless and non-weighted for older children I would say maybe eight nine ten months and older if you have a sleep sack that kind of covers the hands and impedes that movement I guess a little bit that might be okay just because children older infants are more dexterous but I don't like anything that covers arms or hands for really young infants we don't want to impede their movement at all especially when they're that little please like this video and subscribe and I'll see you next time <laughs>